Hello everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. Today we will learn how to make a chemistry test based on periodic table. So let us begin. So for this, we need one Arduino Uno, one small breadboard, one LCD screen, three resistors, two push buttons and few connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So first of all, let us see how to connect the push button. So we'll connect the first terminal of it to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino, second one of it to this GND pin of this Arduino through a resistor and the third one of it to this 10 and 11 number pin of this Arduino respectively. So in this way our both push buttons are connected. Now let us see how to connect the LCD screen. So first of all we'll connect the GND pin and that is the ground pin contrast pin and the read and write pin of this LCD to this GND pin of this Arduino. After it, we will connect the power pin of it to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino. And the register select and enable pin will be connected to this 2 and 3 number pin of this Arduino respectively. After it, we will connect the DB4 to DB7 number pin of this LCD to this 4 to 7 number pin of this Arduino respectively. After it, we will connect the LED anode pin of it to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino and LED cathode pin of it to this GND pin of this Arduino through a resistor. And this way our circuit is ready. Now let us see our code. So this is our code. Over, for, over here, first of all, we have included one header file, liquid crystal library and its array 23. Uh, 227 number pin of this Arduino to which this LCD is connected. Now over here we have initialized two variables A and B which represents the options A and B and this 10 and 11 represents the pin number to which this both of these push buttons are connected. After it we have declared one more variable A from which we will be taking the input from the user. After it we have initialized one variable score to 0. Now in this void setup function, we are beginning the serial connection with 9600 bits per second and we are beginning the, we, are, we have configured the LED having 16 columns and 2 rows and after it we have configured the pin mode A and B for the input purpose respectively. Now in this void loop function, first of all we are clearing the screen of this LCD. After it we are setting the cursor printing some text in the LCD screen and making it visible in the screen for the two seconds of time using this delay function which takes time in millisecond and over here 2000 millisecond equals to two seconds. After it, we are again clearing the LCD screen, setting the cursor and printing the next question. Over here, first question is carbon is a and these are the two options. First option is the non-metal and the second one option is the metal and the candidate will get 5 seconds of time to answer this question and if the answer will be right the score will be increased by 5 and if it will be right the candidate will be able to see that yes it is true. So in this way it will work. Over here similarly some other questions are also included like valency of helium is then atomic number of nitrogen is what and symbolic symbol of lithium is what then lead is a metal or non-metal then silicon is metalloid or metal then uh, is a CR represents the chromium true or false and at last the final score will be displayed now let us give the test of this chemistry based on periodic tables. So for it I am clicking on start simulation. Choose the correct answer. Carbon is a non-metal. Yes, true. Then valence of helium is zero. Yes, true. Then atomic number of nitrogen is seven. Uh, lithium ally. Lead is the metal or oh, non-metal? Yeah, it is metal. Okay, silicon is metalloid. Yes, true. Yes, this one is also true.
so my final score is 35 <laughs> yay <laughs> so in this way it will work thank you